Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This time, as requested, I'm gonna talk more about my Chucky Industrial Sewing Machine. I'm going to show you how I wind the bobbin and eventually how to do threading. Things that will help you getting started setting up your machine before you sew. Okay, first of all, let me introduce you my sewing machine. It's Chucky DDL8100E. Made in Vietnam, but I bought it in Indonesia for 3 million rupees or equals to 300 US dollar at that time. I bought it few months after I started entering fashion college around 3 years ago. Industrial machines are definitely faster and more efficient than portable sewing machines. They also have visible differences on the thread stand location, the bobbin winder, stitch length controller, backstitch handle, and power button usually located below the sewing table. Besides, the power button is my external lamp button that I bought separately. Let's start with how I wind bobbins on my machine. First, put the thread on the right thread stand, and you can see a small hole above the thread stand. Put the threads into it from the back, and then pull. Then the threads will go into this small hole, and goes in between of this small wheel. Then put the tip of the threads through the bobbin's hole, any hole that you can pick. Then stick the bobbin onto its place. Push this part to set the bobbin ready for winding. Before we start winding the bobbin, make sure the footer is lifted up. This step is to avoid the footer collide with the feed dogs. After that, turn on the machine, press the foot pedal and the winding will start. Wait until you get the amount of threads you needed. When finished, pull back this part and take off the bobbin. Put the bobbin to its case. Direct the threads into the small slit like this. Next, we need to place the bobbin to the machine. Look under your machine and you will see there is a hole fit for the bobbin case. Put it like this till you heard the sound it fits perfectly. Done with the bobbin, now we need to set up the DB needle. The needle's curve line should always face the right side, like this picture. And finally, we come to the main part, threading. Put the thread to the left thread stand, and it's above small hole like the previous early step. Then it goes to these two holes. Continue here, always in from the right side for these two holes. Then follow me like this. This circle part can control the stitch tension too. You can rotate this to control how loose or tense your stitches will be.
After that, the thread goes in here. At this point, the setup should look like this. Out from the curve line of the DB needle. Next, we need to hook out the thread from the bobbin that we previously attached. You don't need to switch on the machine or press the foot pedal, just pin the big circle handle on the right side of the machine. Done with the threading, now I will explain additional information. This knee pedal below the table is useful to lift the presser foot temporarily. Really helpful when we are sewing. Another feature, we also have stitch length controller. This controller sets how long you want the stitches to be. 1 is the shortest until 5 is the longest. For normal sewing preference, I usually use 2.5 or 3. After we are done with all steps, now we are ready to start sewing. If you have any question, do ask me in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give like and subscribe. See you on my next video.